Yo, yo, yo. What's the deal? What's the deal? It's Eddie Baker here. Chili Sosa, Boodle Sosa, aka Handsome Gordo. And this is Blunt Talk with Eddie Baker and Chili Sosa. You dig? This is episode three of our new podcast that we started the other day. And uh, I think it's going pretty swell, you know, so far. I'm loving it so far. Loving it so far. I can't wait till y'all hear it. Being able to share our uh, views on things in life and everything with you guys. It's been kind of dope. Uh... It's a beautiful day today, you know what I'm saying? Nice summer day in California. It's going to be 96 today. Just so y'all know. Oh, man, it's been crazy. The weather's definitely been fluctuating since the quarantine. I feel like some days it's fucking real good, and some days it's real bad. The fucking, like, the beginning of it, when the the corona first came out, remember it was, like, rainy and windy? That was the worst. Yeah, it's, like, crazy. So, today's (coughs) topics... Like I said, this show, we cover three topics every episode, uh, three topics about life, random topics, not just music, and today we're going to cover the first topic, which is the rise of spirituality in time of corona. What do you think about the rise of spirituality in time of corona? Like, do you feel like people are getting more spiritual because they're they're uh, having existential dread, they're thinking about their life now because they're locked up? What do you think is the reason why? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like ever since we've been on lockdown, we've been in the house, people have way more time to think you know i feel like a lot of people been thinking like damn i don't believe in nothing i need to believe in something is that i feel like that is a big thing with this generation i feel like nobody believes in anything no i feel like i feel like a lot of people in this generation they just went to church because their family wanted to but they don't really believe in that type of well stuff. yeah i feel like i was like that all my life I, no, like I, I, I was i went to church and i believed in I, it. I feel like i believed when i was younger uh-huh. and i feel like when i got into the world not so as much as i didn't believe in god but it didn't register to me how important believing in God is to your mental health. <laughs> it's, every, it's everything. I didn't believe. I didn't realize that one nation under God. Just, just every time you think about faith, think about that. Yeah, I didn't realize that like how important that was to like my mental health. To, like believing in God. So you know, and I feel like a lot of people <laughs> got into faith because they felt like it was the end, and they didn't want to leave this earth with nothing. I feel like a lot of people thought this was the end, the world was going to end, or it was the end for them. And they're like, well, I don't want to end, end my life and not believe in nothing and go nowhere. Like, Boy, That's definitely a big deal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're 90s babies, so, you know, I, I, I can think of the 90s. My parents, grandmother, always being in church, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, think about the 2000s when you get that It wasn't older. really pressed on us to go to church. Well, was, I don't think that was religion. It was just even part of the culture of the 2000s. It was more of a, like, if you wanted to do it, you can do it. I'm not going to press it on you or teach or teach, it, or teach it to you. I feel like we have this, like, thing when you get older, like, once you get out of your parents' house, and, like, once you, think, like, you become early, more progressive-minded. The early 2000s, they took religion out of school. You couldn't have the religion in school. It's true. That's why I feel like religion started to die down a lot. I feel like religion is like damn near dead now. Like I feel like it's like a not it's like dead. an in home thing. Like I feel like people are scared to, to have their religion outside. Well, nobody talks about it. Exactly. Anymore. That's what I mean. That's like I mean. if you're famous, if you're a rapper, if you're an actor, it's like taboo to speak about religion. It's taboo to speak about people God. People start judging you. People start judging you. But I mean, at one point in society, I think we can all agree that God <coughs> was. It was uh, universally accepted that God was real. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. And if you think about, like, the imagery, like, you know, a lot, of, like, now, devil imagery is very big it's right now. It's very popular. And that wasn't big back in the day. The Satan. You couldn't do that stuff back in the day. It wouldn't even be on TV. No, you couldn't do it. But now, I feel like that's more on TV. And I feel with these new generation, I don't want to say millennials, because we're millennials, too, ain't we? Yeah, we're millennials. The well, next generation is Generation X. Or generation X or some shit. We're they don't have any type of... The spiritual is dead. Like, you they know, TikTok. No for real. You got TikTok kids and, you know, all these fucking new apps and shit. There it's is no. The, the internet. The internet. Period. The internet. Ki- the internet makes people. I feel like it makes you less spiritual, of anything. Like, if, you got, if you're on the internet all day, you ain't in the books. You're not in the church. You know what I'm saying? Like, True. And I, I, I don't even just say Christianity. I don't see a lot of Muslim kids. I don't see a lot of Christian kids. I don't see a lot of Jewish kids. I don't Catholic. see nobody practicing their religion. Yeah. It's always like, oh, my parent made me. Yeah, it's always, well, I, I grew up this, but I don't really follow it anymore. Well, because I feel like, like I said, when you get out of your house, you get this kind of mindset like, I'm going to be more open minded to the world. No, I feel like you just feel like you can do what you want. That's what I'm saying. Like, you feel like, oh, I don't got to follow religion. I don't got to go to church anymore. I mean, I know me personally. I didn't want to go to church after I left my house because I was like, damn, I don't got, I can have my Sunday to myself now. Now I can smoke with my friends and chill. That's your young mind. That's my young mind thinking. And it's like, even me being 28 now, 
you, you get to that young mind of thinking and you never really just change it. It's just kind of like, oh, I thought it's about this. It's a cycle. You've been doing it for so long. You just keep doing it. Yeah, and I feel like that was a big deal for me, not having my spirituality. But then when you find your spirituality again, <coughs> it changes your whole life. You know what I'm saying? Because even me, I stopped going to church when I was like 13. My dad gave me a choice. You go if you want. Yeah. And I stopped going. And he asked me why I stopped going. I was like, I believe in God. I just felt like you don't have to go to church. Just to, just to, be, to worship God. So I, I stopped going, you feel me? Like, well, I feel like that's true. You don't have to go to God to worship church. I, I mean, you don't have to go to church to worship God. But, but it's also good to go every now and then. Because and it the keeps word. you, you it, the it, it keeps the word in you. It's praise and worship. And that's why I do go every now and then. And it helps your faith if you're yeah. around other people with faith instead of being around the worldly people all the time who don't have faith, who are depressed most of the time. And that kind of is discouraging right there. When you see 100 people depressed and you see 100 people happy, the 100 people happy is going to make you feel way better than 100 people depressed. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be 100. 200, 400 happy people in church with you. Yeah, and that. Praying with you, uplifting And you got to think, when you get that word, it makes you want to face the world. Like, you exactly. can face the world when you got God on your hand. Like, that's yeah. why Sunday, you go to church Monday. If you went to church, your Monday feels amazing. Yeah, that's very it true. It feels great. You got, usually, your Monday is droggy and slow, but if you went to church, that Monday is amazing when you wake up. Do you think spirituality, after this is done, like, I feel like the churches might be, like, packed. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's gonna be way more members than usual before before coronavirus. Yeah, because I mean, people even have, the people that stopped going gonna get up and go again. The well, people we, that lost faith, they gonna go. And people that didn't have faith, they gonna go. People are forced to face themselves in these times right now. Like you're forced to to face yourself, face your mortality, your long more, thoughts. Like, damn yeah, man, what's life gonna be like after this? It's what's life next? What am I doing? What's, what's, why am I not going to church? Why do I not believe in faith? Why do I not? Why am I not doing this? Well, what do you think is the reason why people don't have faith? A lot of them. I be feeling like people don't be having faith because I feel like they be sinning too much. <coughs> it's way easier to sin to be good. Yeah, I feel like they sin so much so they feel like I shouldn't have faith and be sinning and have faith. Da, 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 but no one's perfect. Yeah, I mean, people don't understand. Like, even when you become a Christian, that doesn't mean you're perfect. It means you walk more like Christ, but it doesn't mean that you're about to be Christ. You can't yeah. be Christ. He's perfect. It's impossible. Like, that's the whole reason that you have salvation and you have repenting because, you know, it's uh, it's basically, uh, we got air conditioner on the back. Don't worry, real trap. <laughs> but it's basically repenting is asking God for forgiveness. I, I feel like, you know, the whole Jesus and God is it's basically like you're, you're telling you're telling your soul and your conscience who your boss is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not dying in your sin or like doing so much sin that you don't have nothing to repent to. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. not getting lost in the sin. It's having a balance. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people don't have balance. So when you go and too they far, you have balance side. in everything. You, you have know. to have balance in everything. Even, even if you do drugs, they like balance it out. Eat good. Work, exercise. Yeah. Be you can't sit lean without drinking water. You feel me? Even me, I'll be on the juice it up. I, I'll be working now. I'll drink a hell of water. Now. If you see me off the internet, I'm a different person almost. I'm, 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 I'm low key almost healthy. Like, yeah, it's a you, balance. You only you only get to see what I post. Like, you know, you get to see the good shit. Well, exactly, and that's what it is. It's a balance of, of life, and that's what all having God is. It's a balance of uh, well, shit. I feel like your your, your sins. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people are just so lost right now because of not having faith. And that gets us to our second topic of today. Depression. Why is depression so popular in rap in 2020? Because it's so fucking easy. It's so easy to be depressed. And I feel like when you're depressed, everybody just, like, draws to They come to you when you're depressed. So, like, it's easy to build a fan base around that. Like, oh, he's always sad. Why is he always sad? Oh, he's talking about this. Why he's want to do this? Oh, he wants to kill himself. Why does he want to kill himself? It it's makes like, you want to know about it. Questions. Like, it makes you want to know but you want to research that person almost is that good though no like i feel like i feel like i feel like a lot of that shit be making people that's not sad sad yeah definitely if you listen to sad music enough if you watch enough sad movies you're gonna get sad you listen to enough sad music you're gonna get sad even if you're happy it's like you're forcing it on yourself you know what I'm <coughs> i feel like that's uh i feel like it just goes back to the you know the spirituality i feel like it's a lot of people don't have faith in anything I feel like a lot of people and a lot of artists, you know, you, you 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 tell yourself you want this certain type of life, you know what I'm saying? You chase this dream, it doesn't plan out how you want it to be, and then, you know, you just start making music about how, like, you, you didn't get to your destination or how sad it is to and wake up every day. sad is so glorified these days. And it sucks, too, because it's like, I remember when happy music was... You know what I'm saying? The thing to do. Like, you remember it when... It was actually a movement. Remember, you know, Will Smith, Summertime, fucking, uh... What else? Fucking... 
with some happy shit. You know what I'm saying? Even Pharrell made the happy song. That was five, he six had to years bring ago. It, he had to bring that back. Yeah, it's like everybody's just so depressed now, and I feel like it, it, it hurts the fans. You know I feel what I'm like saying? there's no such thing as happy music anymore. No one really makes happy music. All music is like kind of party, depressing. getting loaded, drinking, trap. Is anybody genuinely happy anymore? Like, <laughs> it's not like happy. Like, who's happy in music anymore? No, huh? like what song have you listened to in the past year or two that made you feel good that came out recently hmm. that actually made you smile and feel good it's uh one childish gambino song i like that uh was it summertime okay you know the little cartoon video that's actually i like that i like more happy song music like even me like even though i make more darker music you know what i'm saying i still like making the happy shit too <coughs> in the 80s Nigga, and mood then, music. I love being happy. I love yeah, being I listen happy. to happy music. Like when I'm driving in the car, I really don't even listen to rap as much anymore because it's I just so hard. Yeah, I like I, I mean, I still do, but I but I listen to way more old school a, shit. I listen to a lot of soul and a lot of love songs. Yeah, I do a lot of soul that. music. That's my shit. Like I'm like, a soul music guy. It's a vibe. I got. I got. You know, when I'm driving in the early in the morning. I don't listen to trap music early in the morning. Yeah, I just don't want to. I don't know why. I mean, I think we're older now too. I love it. I still love it. You feel I me? still love it because that's where you know that's where we relate to. I feel like you know yeah, what I'm saying. No I mean, it's trap music depressing. Trap music kind of depressing. If you think mm, about it. it depends. It's black depressing because black people we don't get depressed like white people get depressed. We 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 get mad and angry. Yeah, it's a different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm not saying that black people don't get depressed. Because they, they do. They do. It's just a different but. type of depression. I think like it's a different type of mode and mood. Like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it's definitely a different thing. I think we just put our energy into, towards other things instead of like soaking in your own. Yeah, we don't soak in this shit. We try to we try to get over it and be happy. You feel me? And move on. Yeah. I feel like other people just soaking it and want to be sad and want people to be sad for them. Yeah, we don't want people to be sad for it. We want to be over it and be good. You feel me? We want to be happy too. That's really what it is. Like I feel like you know, as a black man, it's always that's the main fight is the fight to be happy. What makes you, you can't happy. let nobody know you down or you sad. You feel me? Yeah, because I feel like people exploit that. You're a target now. Yeah, You're exactly. Now. And it's always about not being a target. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely like something that's that's a big deal. Like <laughs> being a black to. man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, I went through like a little depression or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it like I felt it wasn't me. Like the whole time, it's like I wouldn't let myself be depressed. I was like, no, nah, I can't. <laughs> this ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I was fighting the depression <laughs> man, to get back happy. Yeah, I'm not depressed. This isn't me. I don't. Exactly. I don't feel depressed. Like. Yeah. It's not even, it's not even well, I character. feel like, you know, we're kind of raised to, like, you know, I feel like in the black culture, you're raised to be appreciative of everything, even if you don't got shit. You know what I'm saying? To be appreciative, waking up. Like, oh how many times your parents tell you, like, you know, be appreciative if you woke up this morning, be appreciative for food on your plate, be appreciative like, for you ain't got So what? You ain't got this. The next man might not even have that. So That's very true. Be what you got. Yeah, so it's kind of like you learn that. Some people ain't got none. That's real talk. You definitely kind of learn that stuff. So, last fucking, the last, uh, oh no, yeah, but anyway, let's get to the last question of the show, should rappers be political? Mm, political in what way, like, should rappers support their, should, should they support politicians? Should I mean, rappers be Democrat, Republican? They could, but nobody really cares. I mean, but I think that's a big deal, though. That's a big deal. Look Why? At, because, you know, rappers, if they are supporting a certain political party, I feel like, you know, that's like kind of influencing the kids. Rappers probably have more influence kids on the kids of today voting, than uh, the, the president. Kids not even voting, though. You don't think? They say that all the time. Other younger generations are not voting. But if rappers start voting, would kids vote? Remember Vote or Die? Yes, what did he? I couldn't even vote back then, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the first person I voted for was Obama. Obama, of course. That was the first person I could vote yeah, for. It was a big things. thing in my house. It was so big. I was out selling weed far as fuck. Remember, my dad called me and told me, bring your ass home. We going to vote. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> know that I never registered to even vote. I think my dad registered for me. I told We you. went as a unit, nigga. My grandma, my grandpa, my sister, my dad, my mom to vote. I told party. my grandparents and I told my mom, I told my dad, I told everybody that Obama was going to be president like about eight years, four, four years before. Never. I swear. I promise you. I didn't even know who Obama, Obama was. I knew that. who he was because I had seen him. He did a speech at the Democratic Convention. And I saw it. And I was like, damn, who is this black man like speaking to all these white people? All when was this? 
This is when I was, I maybe was in seventh, eighth grade, you feel me? Uh-huh. So it was like, and I remember going to my grandparents' house, and I'm like, this is going to be the next president, I promise you. And they were like, oh, who is this guy? And now they love Obama. They always tell that story about how, like, years before he you was ever president. Obama was going to be the president? I swear to you, bro, like, I promise, like, on everything I love like right Like, president, now, seventh I'm, grade, you like, this is going to be the president. I knew he was because he was just so charismatic. He was handsome. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, and he was talking good, and I was like, damn, this dude is going to be president. I was like. And he was young as fuck back then. Yeah, and he inspired me as, like, a little seventh grade. I was, if I think he's going to be president, I was like, bro, he's going to be president one day. I really tell that, and it's crazy. Now my grandparents, they always give me that. They always tell me that because I really was. I knew he was going to be president. It's crazy. But, I mean, I feel like if rappers became political, it would definitely change how voting is. Because you got to think, like, especially this new generation of rappers being so anti-everything. You know what I'm saying? True. I mean, does that kind of mess up? Because I feel like I'm political. You know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely are. You I'm definitely, definitely, definitely political. Like, I'm, What's I, your opinion on all your social networks yeah, and, yeah. and all that? Yeah. Everywhere you can? I feel like I'm, like, I want to say I'm independent. Mm-hmm. I'll put that out there right now. I'm independent, mind Because I feel like I, it's some liberal things that I don't mind. But then it's like I definitely lean towards conservative on a lot of shit too. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I don't want to say I'm a Democrat and I don't want to say I'm a Republican. I just sound like I'm independent. I think I have a I have a bunch of different views on shit. You know what I'm saying? But I say independent because I just like I think if that means what I think it means, independent meaning that I think whatever the fuck I want to think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's true. That's right. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's my version of independent. If you want to say that, like I feel like I don't. some things I like liberal, some things I like conservative. I'm, Maybe, yeah, but maybe. if rappers would be more political, it would be cool, but I feel like they wouldn't do that anyway. I feel like they have to get paid to do some shit like that. Yeah, like niggas ain't doing shit for free, huh? Yeah, you feel me? Hey, they big ass rappers. Oh, you want me to tell you to vote for this president? We'll we got Kanye. He's 50, political. <laughs> He's political. You said Kanye? Kanye. He don't play. Think about it. That's a big risk of like, him putting his But Kanye don't there. give a fuck and he never has. He never has. Who, any other rapper's political? No. Not, not really. Not really like them being political. Yeah, See, because really. it's different when you, you talk about who every you want to ra- vote Every for. rapper's political in this way. They tell you, fuck Trump and don't vote for Trump. Yeah. That's the only thing they say. That is what everybody They don't that's, tell you who they vote for, well, that's why, why they vote and all that. They don't never tell you that. Niggas just say fuck. You feel me? I feel like or that's, do they even vote at all? We don't know that. I feel like that's what Kanye was kind of talking about. It's like, you know, everybody just wants to be political when it's time to vote. But niggas ain't really political. Exactly. Like, being political is always being political, not just when it's time to vote. And niggas don't, yeah, niggas just be one to, I feel like they're the just rapper. Joining, they're just joining the trend. Yeah, the rapper mentality is vote against the Republican. And then, like I said, that's why I said, like, you know, when I started looking into certain Democrat beliefs, I didn't, believe, I didn't agree with everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I didn't believe in all Republican beliefs either, you know what I'm saying? But I don't believe in all the Democrats. You go back and too. forth. Yeah, because it's, that's how it is. It's different agendas. Yeah, you go back and forth. Different different politicians still have different reasons why they want to be... In office. In office, exactly. So it's like, you know, how could you really say that every person is bad in this party, in this party, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a lot of bad stuff Trump is doing. Like, we we agree. Like, you know, it's a lot of bad shit he's doing. It's a lot of good shit he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Same with Obama. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of bad shit he was doing. A lot of bad shit we were doing. And you mean good shit. You said bad shit. You said you didn't say good shit, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> you said bad shit, but you didn't say good shit. I didn't say good shit. I mean, it's a lot of good shit uh, Obama did. Yeah, and it's a lot of bad shit he did. That I believe. You know what I'm saying? So, like. That's what. Yeah, nobody's perfect. It's gonna be some shit. You we're all want. humans. It's gonna be some shit you didn't want the president to do, but it's gonna be some shit you wanted him to do. That's, you're very right, right there. You feel me? We're like, all humans. Like we nobody's all, perfect. Nobody's that's, perfect. That's how it is. Like what the fuck? I think that's why, like on the street level, like you kind of just see all the presidents is fucked up, and like, like you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like that's how I look at it. I look at all the presidents are like fucked up because you he's are gonna pass no shit you want him to pass. Yeah, I mean that's why I feel like I don't get too into politics. Like I don't get too into like what rights I'm not getting. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what it is. Like a lot of people, they 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 like looking up the rights they're not getting. You feel me? Even with this whole, like, protesting right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to go outside, and you know what I'm saying? Like, people are not looking at, like, just like just follow the basic laws, you know what I'm saying? And wait for them to, wait for this shit to pass, you feel me? Like, I don't look too much into the government. I don't feel like we're supposed to look into the government for that much, like, to be, like, I don't want the government to control my attitude that much where I'm protesting and shit. You know what I'm saying? Where you feel like you have to. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, I feel like, like I said, I try to just live. Under the radar, try to be low key. You low know what I'm key. saying? Live my life. Yeah, exactly. Not be, like, not not be too political, but still, you know what I'm saying? Voice my opinion. Yeah, you're in tune a little bit. You know, but not be too in there. Cause it's like once you get too in there, 
you, you find your life revolving around things that you can't even control. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't control. Like, if, if the vote doesn't go your way, it's like, you know? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to cry? You feel me? You're going to be president regardless. Yeah. So it's like, you know. But yeah, rappers being political, that's a, that's a will that be a trend in the upcoming years? Probably never, because rappers ain't getting paid for it, so they ain't doing it. Yeah, niggas want money. You that's feel me? Is. Look at us, we want money for everything. That's very Think true. about them on that big ass stage. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, they want some bread. I know. That's crazy. Alright then, well, this has been Eddie fucking Baker. Chili Sosa, Buddha Sosa, a.k.a. Handsome Gordo. We thank you guys for tuning in with us for the third episode of Blunt Talk, Talk. my nigga. Uh, you guys stay positive out there. Everybody stay safe during the quarantine. Stay inside, mask up, wear your gloves, wash your hands with sanitizer. And also go stream Eddie Baker and Chili Sosa music. Yes, go stream our music on all platforms. Thank you. Thank you. Blunt Talk, out. Ooh, right before.